here today at the Bridge facility um, here in Dallas, Texas, which is a homeless shelter. And, and right in the backdrop of this facility, you'll see the at t World Headquarters. And we're, we're here talking about a program called Back on My Feet, a program that incorporates running uh, as a way to build goals and, and to work as a team with volunteers running with some of the homeless folks here and then work them into a program of building skills and get them back into the job market. Any given Monday, Wednesday, or Friday at shelters across America, you can find a group of runners running with a higher purpose. Back on My Feet is a nonprofit organization that teaches self-sufficiency, community, and the emotional benefits of running to the homeless population. We do not provide shelter or food. Instead, we provide the life lessons needed to be successful, regardless of race, socioeconomic status, or disability. We run Monday, Wednesday, and Friday morning, rain or shine, because we believe in accountability, the power of a team, and the inner strength of our members to carry on one step at a time. We are. Back on my feet! Yeah. At first, I didn't uh, run around, but when I started running, I started enjoying it more and more. I improved in a lot of in a lot of areas. Uh, as far as me uh, taking care of my business, I, I, I finish everything that I, if I start some up, I'm finishing it now, so. I'm bipolar, and uh, I needed something besides medication. And back on my feet and running has been the key thing for me. It turned out to be a very strong rock for me because it helped my self-esteem. Now I'm able to focus and really center on stuff that I need to center myself in. Everybody that runs, they're my angels. They all supported me. The running hurts, but once it's finished, I feel really good about it. You know, I'm proud of what I've done. Two years ago, Ann Mallon was honored as a CNN hero for helping those who might otherwise be forgotten, the homeless. Her Back on My Feet program inspires homeless men and women to change their own lives sharing the benefits of running as well as providing job training skills. Since being a CNN hero, it's been extraordinary. We've received so many requests for expansion and people wanting to bring this program to their city. Ann has done more than just help get them off the streets. Last year alone, more than 170 members found work, started job training, or moved out of shelters. And Ann isn't stopping anytime soon. All right, we're at the home stretch, guys, so pick it up! It's really a unique program that, that aligns well with what we work on at AT&T. The program inspires them to accept and achieve goals. And so the program provides some leadership for them in their lives so that they can they can set goals and it starts with running and running becomes the vehicle with which they then set other life goals to get back on their feet as they move through the different steps of the program, which is really, really uh, in alignment with the way we talk about leadership at at t You know, what struck me and what surprised me is there's several folks here that, that are just like us. You know, um, the, the, the gentleman that I ran with has his bachelor's degree, his master's degree, and he had a couple b bad breaks in life, and and he ends up, you know, in, 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 a, in a homeless shelter. It's the encouragement, it's the friendships, it's the, it's the morning circles, it's the hugs, it's whenever you finish running, it's the, it's the, you know, the thank yous for pushing me today. Hey, look, it's not as tough as you think it is to get up at five o'clock, especially relative to how tough other people have had it. And then two, um, you know, they really care about you being there. I would encourage folks to come out and, and, and go for a ride.